this video, I'm going to introduce a way to quantify whether a reaction is product favored or reactant favored. The way to quantify that is something called an equilibrium constant. So what that means, product favored or reactant favored, is if we mix A and B together, to what extent will they react to make C and D, or to what extent will they remain as A and B? Because now we've learned that a reaction can proceed left to right, or it can go right to left. It's like having some students in class and some students in the library. So basically we're asking how many students will be in class and how many students will be in the library. We have a formula to help us. The K, EQ, that's the equilibrium constant. It's equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. Uh, more specifically, um, I, I've, I've written it like this. So our products are C and D. Here they are, C and D. Uh, we also have coefficients, these letters in red, lowercase red C and lowercase red D. Well, that, that's the numerical coefficient that would come out in front, like 1, 2, or 3, something like that. And you can see that um, the concentration is raised to that power of the coefficient. And it will be divided by the concentration of the reactants. So the concentration of A and B, of course, measured in molarity, raised to the coefficient of A and B. Now, as I mentioned, um, that's called an equilibrium constant. When we write out this equation for a reaction, that's called the equilibrium expression. Now, one thing that you need to know is that solids and liquids do not appear in the equilibrium expression. You're probably wondering why. Well, can you really have a concentration of a liquid or a concentration of a solid? For example, if we have pure water and we add more water, does that make it more or less concentrated? Well, yeah, you can't even really answer that question. Um, so solids and liquids do not appear in the equilibrium expression, usually just um, solutions or gases. Okay. An equilibrium constant indicates if a reaction is product favored or reactant favored. If the value for K is greater than 1, we say that the reaction is product favored, meaning that a lot of products will be made. Another way of saying that is the reaction lies to the right. That's like being able to send a lot of kids to the library. If the equilibrium constant is about 1, that's neither reactant favored or product favored. That's like saying that half the kids will stay in the classroom and half the kids will go to the library. And if the equilibrium constant is less than 1, that indicates that the reaction is reactant favored. Or we would say the reaction lies to the left. So this would be like if we didn't send any kids, or maybe just one kid, to the library, where most of the students stayed in the classroom. Um, a few other additional things you ought to know about equilibrium constants um, is that um, the value has no units attached to it, and that it changes with temperature. So as a review, in this video, we learned about equilibrium constants. And equilibrium constants will tell us if there's a lot of product formed or little product formed or if the reactant um sorry if the reaction lies to the left or lies to the right